right, so this is the project for the day. This is our family coffee table where we eat our meals, watch movies together, hang out together. It's a piece I did a long time ago. We've had it forever. And to give you an idea, this was really bright colors, stains, and they've been worn out by the hand. I hadn't sanded this part yet. So we're going to do a resin pour on this guy and salvage it for another 20 years. So, and Rhonda and I are gonna work on this together. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. Okay, so this table we've had forever, 20 plus years, and here's the story. This is my horse Frodo that we still have. He was a baby at the time. Sketch, and Scout and Fred, and Scout was a buckskin paint. He has passed, and so has Fred, and Fred was our um, Arabian, so he was them to miss them. But anyway, um, just had a fun picture one time where they were hanging out on the fence, and actually he wasn't in the picture, but I added him because it seemed like a family shot. So this has been, oh, this is one of the first pieces of furniture I think Hubby and I bought, and then it was starting to have some signs, you know, just wear and tear and it's loose and stuff. And so we've tightened it up. We've added bolts to it on the side, all kinds of stuff to make it last. And it's now turned into kind of a family piece because the kid, kid's always known as a horsey table. But it is time to move on because this has been obviously worn out. It's not as bright as it used to be. So we're going to do a resin pour and uh, Rhonda and I are going to play on it. So the first thing I got to do is prep it up. And I'm going to start sanding this down because this is done with wood burning. So it's a little bit of an etched area in there. And obviously remove the stain because it could have some oily residue, as, you know, along with all the finger dirt and stuff. So we're going to start with a tougher grit, like uh, 80, 120, and build it up probably to a 240 kind of grit on the sanding to prep it up for doing some resin on it. And then uh, we'll do some painting. And then Rhonda and I are going to wing it on the color. I don't know. There's not really. There's kind of a loose plan, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting. But it'll turn out dynamite between the two of us, that's for sure. All right. Let me get this set up. All right. So I'm doing a couple different series of sanding. Obviously going with the bigger tooth first, meaning like either 100, 120 grit sand, and then up to a 240 or or 250 depending on what they had so um, and at the end I will definitely dust this off to make it ready for the next step all right so we're gonna do an interview process Rhonda Draculas what are you doing we... I'm sorry I couldn't help myself <laughs> oh we're being filmed oh shoot yeah. we are applying hey. some texture median on this table if I can get all the little boogers out of it to take care of all of the little grooves that are in here instead of bondoing. But I got all, this is an older bucket, so it's got a lot of little boogers in it. Boogers in it. Yeah, the sanding pretty much got a lot of the light lines and stuff, but there's some heavy spots where the wood burner definitely dug in. So we're just trying so to get a smooth pattern. Get it, yeah, like a nice smooth pattern. I may have to go get a new bucket of this instead of the... And then what we'll do is once we get everything filled in, then we'll let it dry and then sand it down again. And it'll be perfectly square, perfectly square. This is what I do a lot of times when I have uh, the, maybe the veneer or something on top mm -hmm. on of a piece that I'm redoing is messed up. I'll just take this. Now 
ultimate trial is so smooth. Oh man, this is the best ever. This is a, what they call a Japanese trial. And it does just get it super smooth. Let me get some more. Okay. So we're gonna continue now throughout the entire table. Let it dry for about what, an hour? Two hours? An hour? Okay. Uh huh. And we are talking Texas heat right now. A bit of humidity, but <laughs> we're trying to get it done earlier in the afternoon before it gets really bad. See, this is just some stuff. Some old stuff. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna set this up, and she's gonna continue working. Ron is going to continue troweling this entire table. <laughs> and yeah, she gets a bit boring with a, phone, a ton of phone calls all the time. She is a very busy lady when it comes to her business. But uh, we ended up getting a mister out just because it was so hot. That stuff was drying on her so fast. And it was also old material too. So that part was giving her a hard time too. But that stuff is amazing. All right, so we're going to let this sit for probably an hour in this heat. It was already starting to dry up on her, and we had to do some misting of water to try to keep it malleable. Anyway, and then we're going to sand it super smooth, and it'll be ready for any painting. Okay, this coat is nice and dry. Time for some sanding and some sweating in Texas. All right, I got my trusty helper. Say hey! Woo! <laughs> we got to sand the curl down this guy. Here we go. All right, back to sanding again. Uh, this time I got to be careful around my edges because she's filled in grooves. I don't want to completely knock off what she's done, but we definitely want to bring it down to a nice smooth coat. So prep is always important. So this is all sanded down and I'm going to put a coat of bare paint and primer. Let's see, there we go. And it's kind of more of a natural gray color, just a neutral color just to prepare the wood for the resin so not super exciting moment now but it is definitely important prep up to make sure the resin sticks and adheres well to my table you guys gotta watch all the way to the end because i put in there a couple of little silly bloopers from Rhonda and i <laughs> she's a lot better at this than i am all right so this is all dried up I hit it real quickly with a, just a little bit of sandpaper just to scuff it up on the top and on the sides. And I'm going to apply a second coat. So I'm not going to videotape that because it's pretty much the first, you know, the way it was in the first time. It's just I'm already going over gray. So later. Another tip, uh, when you are painting in between your layers, just scuff it up a little bit with sandpaper. Uh, but make sure that you go with some kind of a paper towel or something and wipe off all the dust. Also, do that just before you paint from when you're sanding your wood, too. And another thing, the little roller here, the well, thing that uh, Rhonda does in her paint cans, she's got the, she just keeps the roller in there for that particular color. So that way she's not scuffing up, an, or I should get, say, getting a new roller dirty. So just store it in there, and you're ready to go from the next time. No. Howdy, howdy, I'm Clara Lawrence, and this is Rhonda Draculis with RK3 Designs. We're working on a project together. This is my coffee table, I have to admit. There is a somewhat of a plan coming for me, but there's also... I don't know what the hell I'm doing. She's just telling me to, to add some stuff, so we're gonna see We're gonna let the magic off. happen. We're just gonna do that. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, so what we're gonna do is because there is already a, um, a slight roll on this edge, which is good because we don't want 90 degree angles, um, I know that our base color is gonna be black. And so when this epoxy rolls over, I don't want to see any of this gray edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our black spray paint. I'm not doing another can. <laughs> and we're going to just, yep, we're going to get another You have can. no black paint in no. this. <laughs> so we're just going to come in here and we're going to fog this edge.
So when the resin goes over the edge, it will appear thinner. And this is a way to make sure that the color still goes on. Right, it shows her the thin material. All right, done. Now we gotta dry. Okay. We're not dry? Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna grease it. Are we gonna grease it? We are gonna grease it. All right, so, ready? Pour that over. So we're doing a combination of just straight black and also some black with color passion mixed in, which is gonna allow some cells to develop. Just kind of mix them together. All right. I like to grease my board with like a little stick because it kind of helps me to spread it out. You want to do that? Okay. Kind of where. something, don't you? It's interesting, some of the areas are already appearing kind of transparent. Okay. So you can touch it. Well, and see, this is what I found. What I like to do, especially if I'm going to do any kind of, I know this isn't a dirty pour, but it's, it's we're going to do kind of a meld, is I like to leave uh, pockets of deep colors. Mm -hmm. So like we'll leave a, a thick pocket here. So then when we put colors over the top, those black, some of those deep colors kind of work in and cause some really cool effects. Okay. Almost like really hard melded deep veins. Okay, now we're gonna take it and we're gonna push it over the edge. Do that, okay. This color looks so cool. Black is one of my very favorite. <laughs> Come on, go. Now we're going too much. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Just, just you know, yeah, and oh, you're just, doing your hand. Yeah, don't even. I wouldn't even worry about. Is now that we've got it on the board. Yeah. 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 All right. So and then I like to put like a, a wad there. Well, a wad here. I'll tell you oh, you do take them for times like I do. This like wads. Eight. Like here we go. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So let's heat it a little bit. But we don't want to heat too much because we don't want a lot of movement on this bottom. All right. Okay. I'm gonna try this lefty. <laughs> You're bringing your top out? That's not a bad idea. Get a little bit closer. There. I'm used to those little baby torches. Not my stuff is small. I'm gonna stick right something in there. You're gonna get that in your toes. Oh yeah. You tell me what you want to do. You know, it's that first line. You always have to think the first line in your head. How are you going to do it? That's your problem. You're overthinking. <laughs> right. It's like a big question mark. Let's roll. Let's roll. <laughs> All right. So now are we going to follow? Are we going to follow this design, or yes. do you want you want to follow this design? Yes. All right. So. And don't worry about wiggly lines if you get a few of those, but. Definitely get a lot of color down. Okay. So in other words, you want no, to No, not like bit. that. <laughs> oh, bro. 
Amanda. skinny lines on that just to get it doing some surprise stuff. So that's the only chameleon color in there? Yep. Okay. Oh, videos be nice. Oh, it's hard to fix it. <laughs> Don't make me beep you out, Gary. <laughs> Go for it. Same thing? Yep. Okay, are you going to swipe or are you just... Well, I mean, I need to know where to put this. On the board. On the table. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Well, then I'm gonna put it right down there. Okay. Right there. Huh? Right there. Huh? Right there. Big question. Interference. See interference, bling? Interference. Yeah. I was being snarky. Come on. It's <laughs> snarky right back. That'd be Marcy in the background, by the way. It's an interference purple with a, it's got a bit of a sparkle yeah. to it. Yeah. Are you ready? Can we do, okay, yeah. Can we do what? I was going to say, you want to do a big swipe? Like, like bring it in with a big swipe or you want to use it? I never use one of these, so don't make me look like a fool. You know, I haven't done it on this scale either. What do you have in mind for this swipe? I could be. Negotiations can always happen. Stay. You're about to go over the edge. Stay. Did y'all uh, level that out? Oh, you want to do that? Yes. Huh? Uh, you want to do the table here this time? Yeah. What is that you're using? Sure. A dinky silicone brush. So, you know what I was going to say is if you want to swipe, we can do a swipe and bring it around like that. Ah. Have you done a long swipe before? You want your price? You want your price? I mean, that's up to you. No. So, do you have a bigger inspection? Like something wide? I have a bundle spreader. Bundle spreader? Done. That makes it sell better. And you rub it on your, on your butt. Yeah. Are you pushing hard on purpose? Okay, okay. So you're not doing a swipe. You're just mixing. Okay. Not a lot, though. two and a half almost you can get out of our coat and I didn't know if it was quick enough for the platinum but it's pretty quick. Butcher paper, uh, not, yeah, butcher paper works really well. The stuff that has the coating to it.
Don't you mess up my soul, though. Yes, ma'am. For this, this sauce? For this sauce? Oh, you can have those. I like these. Are you going to have these? You can have those. I like them. So what you can do is dip your brush in there, that was just and you can just literally got it on in paint. You don't have to do a lot of paint. Can I add a little bit of... What do you feel like? Interesting wiggle though. I like the wiggle. Uh oh. We're about to run up it. That's what I'm hoping for, Rhonda. We're doing it. You know, this is really And I didn't do it right there. I don't know what my favorite color is. We just took all the lips. Are we good? Are you looking for a seat? Not as well as the seat yeah. But it's a, it's a new. Everyone flipped one cup. And mint. Oh, I see. It's called mint. I don't know. Oh, it's orange. It's orange. You want the alcohol? Oh, I don't know if that's going to hurt. <laughs> I don't know if she wants alcohol or not. You want alcohol on your table or on your cup? In your cup. <laughs> I like this at the end of the cup there. Maybe a little wine. And I want to try those fruit colors. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 Can I play? Play. Yeah. Please play. I'm curious yeah. what you want to do. Play around with it. Love. Yeah. 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 But go ahead and mess it up. I'm okay. I just put pressure on you. <laughs> go around it, go. I see what you're doing. Let's see, it's not really. And that's, that mic is so big, it's not. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. It's so thick. You've got, it's so heavy. Oh, cool. I think it's going to be heavy. Yeah, I mean, so. I had a feeling. <laughs> if you come over the top of the black, it's going to show up a little bit. Out of the trays that I've done this very thing with, I put them up, leave them alone. Yeah, it's, it's kind like of this area is like it opens up, the cells open up. But since we did a mixture of both the blacks, it's not all over the place. So you get those nice solid colors, like it, it maintains those, but then you have a lot of fun. So, what blacks did you use? You used um, any kind of black solid. And then a little bit of the color passion and color the other black. And right. then a solid too. Which it's just like a little bit. I would put in about a quarter of the amount of black that you would normally and then the remainder with some kind of solid black. Does that help? Yeah, okay. okay, the boss. I'm the boss. You be the boss. So I'm used to the little cups, you just put like drizzle it. So pick up as Yay! I'm happy. You happy? Are you scared? No, it's not mine. That's mine. <laughs>
Yeah, but that didn't sell. Okay. Should have Kenny with his new gimbal doing the pan around. Oh yeah. Erica would be so proud. So that little area there that she just did will probably do some nice sales. Marcy, you gotta come see. Because I'm tickled like a lot. Oh gosh, I love how the turquoise. That blue you brought in right there? Mm hmm, that pretty. That's nice. Selling. There it goes. There you go. Alright. I think we're still fiddling with it. You want to hit this with any kind of alcohol? If you want to spritz some corners, I'm cool with that. Or some dark areas. What do you want to use? Something subtle. Subtle? Mm -hmm. I may have. Powders mixed in with it and it reacts with the resin. Yeah, it's too real teal. Yeah. Okay. Where you want it? I mean, it's going to fracture, so do you yeah, want it to fracture? Yeah, go on along that edge. If it fractures in there, that's fine. Perfect. And then somewhere. As long as it looks like it's <laughs> Gotta bring it in, sorry. You can, but she doesn't want to fracture all of this. So she that's why we're doing it on the outsides. Cause these little little It's kinda of like divots, it breaks up yeah. the design a little bit, it deposits a tiny bit of mica like it's like they just powder added some silicone. <laughs> but without the bad repercussions yeah. of the silicone. Yeah, that's black. I mean, we don't have black paint on We're going to be that. doing a top coat on this, so. This purple is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? ridiculous? Is that one of those chameleon colors? No, that's oh. uh, resin art. Oh, right. Nice. Yeah. See, I love how that sailed in the middle. That's mm -hmm. so pretty. That's like owl eyes. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's put this baby to bed and let him cure up.
We add some of that chameleon to the outside, the blue stuff right there, the light blue, and it'll change color. See when you move around. Fun. All right, we did a flood coat on this yesterday. That's usually not too exciting, so I didn't videotape that. However, we did do a last minute addition and we added a new chameleon color that Erica is carrying. And I believe it's a blue purple shift, but it is so interesting on black. It reminds me of like that bioluminescence. I mean, isn't that super pretty? And with the black, it just shows up like crazy. And even spread out, adding little dots everywhere. And yeah, we add just a tiny bit in the design, not a lot. But overall, the piece, I am super happy with it. Rhonda's happy with it. And then we're gonna do um, the stone coat top coat on this, and it will give it kind of a. Um, a matte finish but it's super rugged and I I think it'll be perfect for family life and stuff so it'll really let this piece go on for a long time so yeah pretty nice Love the size. Now this bottom area here, I'm just gonna simply paint that black. So all the drama will be on the top. Took my phone a little bit so the glare's not so bad. That little ribbon there, that's the um, spray paint that Rhonda ran through it. And look how it spread. It almost looks like a ghosted color in there. Really neat. All right, guys, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time, put a video up. So the only issue that we really had was there were some dimples on the very edge. And what we thought was humidity might be an issue ended up that Rhonda believes that the spray paint cans that she uses also for class, that this one particular one may not have been mixed always when it was being used. So it had a, uh, an unbalanced amount of propellants at the end of it. And that caused that resist with the uh, resin. But I'm not too worried about it because it is a family table and we were just having fun with it. All right, so this piece is done. It's in position in my household, which I'm not showing off because it's not that pretty, but we are already using this as our coffee table and I couldn't be happier. We've got the top coat already in place and it's on top of our coat and it did beautifully. So it's gonna be nice and rugged and able to withstand family life. And it's already taken a little bit of beating. It did not take long whatsoever. Keep in mind that this is a family table who has, that has already seen a lot of wear and tear so there's quite a few dingle dents in it. It smoothed out quite a bit, but man. You got some chameleon colors in there that are really gorgeous. Little accents that Rhonda ended up sneaking in with the uh, her spray paint technique, which turned out neat. It kind of reminds me of just like some ghostly smoke in there. And then all the different colors that are interacting in this. Could not be happier. Believe it or not, I think my favorite parts are where it goes over the edges. Just, 
I use this gimbal here. And that is cool. Now I have to admit, it's gonna take a little bit to get used to it being a mat with the top coat, but I think it's a wise choice for us, especially with family life, um, going with this um, top coat. So it is going to take quite a bit of abuse. And yeah, you can see that's in the, my next part of the project, just take care of the bottom. <laughs> but I wanted to share this with you. Uh, let's see if I can get a nice overhead view. going for some pretty details. Sorry about that, should have done my normal zoom sound, but I did not. All right, come on, focus. There we go. A lot of nice detail. There's that sm ghostly smoke I was talking to you about. Really nice colors in there with some cells. A couple different chameleons. Oh yeah, me likey. All right, y'all. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time I put a video up. There y'all. I need to put an extra special shout out to Miss Rhonda Draculis from RK3 Designs. We were a great team on this project. And it's so much fun always working side by side with her She's got an immense amount of knowledge with this material. And her knowledge comes from the countertop direction and also interior design. And, or I should say, I guess faux finishes and stuff. So highly recommend checking her out. She's got some classes down in Seguin. And is a wonderful lady. Her hubby's not so bad himself. Nice couple. Project together. Okay, Someone let's start. Have a let's start over. Kill it. Three, okay. two, one. Ready? I'm still putting it in there anyway. Okay. Ready? See one. you. I don't edit. Okay, it just goes it. with it. This is live, actually. <laughs> yeah. We're all on a live? No. Oh. No. Heck no. <laughs> okay. Howdy, howdy. This is Claire Lana. Hi, I'm Lana hey. Draculis with RK3 Designs. I told the doctor I'm fine. You did fine. Okay. I'm used to this. <laughs> You're ready? Want to do it again? We can do it again. Okay.